And it's just better that you guys go in, you breathe, be grounded, and try to be in that moment. And so a lot of them were very nervous, and I said, yeah, you're probably gonna be nervous. Use that. Don't, don't start talking yourself out of auditions, because I've no heard the actors who are like, yeah, I have this audition, but I don't think I'm right for the role. Uh, why would they pick me? And just never talk yourself. You, you got the audition. They, they picked you to come in. The tools are infinite. Mm -hmm. So the stuff in the in the Google Drive, those are kind of just an assembly of different kinds of things that I've kind of collected. But yeah, take a look, experiment with using those to guide your preparation and see what works, see what you like. I wrote a monologue and I just did it while they were setting up the shot. Because you know, sometimes there's so much time in between setups and you lose momentum and it was a really powerful dramatic scene. I find uh, working, I like playing with accents when I'm memorizing. I discover new oh, stuff. Yeah. I'll play with an accent and I'm like, oh. And then I'll do it again without the accent and I'm, I'm just discovering stuff all the time by playing. Different characters, different accents, stuff just happens. You don't know. You don't know how it happens, but the more you work on it, the more you play with it, you'll think of stuff. Your brain is gonna come up with new inspirations. You're gonna, you don't know where they're gonna come from, but they're not gonna come if you just keep hammering away the same way over and over again. Because that's just, yeah, you might memorize it that way, but you're probably not gonna discover stuff about what is this character going after? Why are they saying what they're saying right now? Why isn't this being said at the beginning of the scene? What's going on behind the lines? What's the character feeling? So I find that going through the stuff a lot, but also playing with accents, different intentions, different emotions, all that stuff can really help explore. Yeah. It does, good, yes. It's better you make some yeah. choices, you guys, than just think, because like what Dean is saying, a lot of actors do what Dean was asking. They go, oh, I don't know what the other person's gonna bring, so maybe I'll just not take, and I know you weren't saying you weren't gonna make choices, but a lot of actors go, I just won't make any really bold choices, and I'll just kind of, I'll memorize the lines, and you know, I'll just go in there, and it's yeah. gonna be bland. Yeah, well, the job is yeah. to, really what you need to do is you need to be in service of the script, yes. and you need to be in service of your scene partner. Since we know that acting is reacting, if you're not coming to the table with something full of life, you're not giving them anything to work with. It's either easy but not simple. Right, it's easy but not simple. I think that's the saying. Simple but not easy? No, I think it's easy but not simple. I like simple. easy but not simple. Let's roll, let's roll. Come on. Uh, let's go, let's roll. Nobody dies. They gonna hate you when you this hard to get. Come on.